back here. I'm lighting the fireworks tonight. Which frock rocks. I don't like your dresses. They're not beautiful. Not beautiful. <laughs> What's up, baby girl? Not going. Why not? They need a beautiful girl to light the fireworks. Who said you're not what everyone knows you are? Beautiful. Hey, who? Mark. Come on. <laughs> Mommy's here. Now you listen to me. I don't like confrontation. I don't do that. I've never done that. Even though I should have done with every man I've ever... Mm. Jezebel is beautiful because we tell her she's beautiful. You're crying, Mark. I'm sorry. Sorry, Mark. Mark, you OK? Mm. Mark! No! No! You should talk to somebody about your edges. Mark. Right, you keep away from me. And stop looking at me like that. Why do you have to kiss me like that, eh? You're young and desperate and I'm... Well, we won't say what I am because I'll just have one of my episodes. You don't find me attractive, do you? Don't answer that. Once and once only, okay, and you don't tell a soul. Well, let's just get a few things straight. I'm not some sort of substitute mother figure. And I'm not a whore with a heart of gold, OK? This is your first time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, come on. Oh. Can we do that again? When? Ah, uh, now. This is twice. Or it only counts as once. Okay. What is it, Jez? Mark, we can't. Jezebel went out. Yes, we can. That was sextastic. <laughs> Do you mind? What a sextastic. <laughs> Babes. <laughs> Babes? God, I've created a monster. Grr. <laughs> what are you up to, Zoe Brogan? Hi, girls. What have you been up to, Marky? You're never in the house anymore. Got a girlfriend or something? A girlfriend? <laughs> You're up, haven't you? No, I haven't. What's going on in this place, Brenda? You've been here a while, you must have some idea. I am happy here. Jezebel is happy yes, here. Yes, I know, you're happy. Is that what's going on with Mark, eh? Is that why he's always in your house? Jezebel's trying to convince him to be happy. I'm gonna have a word with him about that. Danny, leave it with me. Hello. It's over, you and me, we're done. Uh, what do you mean, why? What have I done wrong, why? What Listen, done? somebody might find out, Mark. It makes me look pathetic. You look pathetic? I did not go through where I have gone through to look pathetic. I'm sorry. 
I am what I am, Mark. <sighs> Most don't required. Mark, you know why I can't do this. It, it's just... It's not because I don't like it. I'm sorry. Uh, the woman in the shop? Don't know her. Shag. No. Shag, go on holiday or marry. Slit my own throat. Now go on, Marky. All three. <laughs> oh, bless. The Seychelles, all those beaches, and the houses on the little sticks right by the sea. And what would our wedding be like? Um, you'd... You'd be... <laughs> you'd be... Well... That's the marriage and the holiday bit sorted. There's only one thing left. Are you kids? <laughs> Brenda, take a seat. I'm all ears. I just need a repeat prescription. No problem. I was wondering uh, <clears throat> if you could do me one for some type of um, contraception. Brenda. It's not what you think. Red is good for the skin. But you have the complexion of a peach. Is it any wonder that a man should find you desirable? I told you, it's for me skin. There's no need to be embarrassed. There is. He's... I mean... Uh, it's tricky. I'm not sure how I feel. One minute I think, why not? The next I'm like, no! <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Look, Brenda, if this sexual adventure is such an exciting one, why not just... Do you know? Whatever, Dr York. Just give me my pill. You're protected by the sanctity of my position as secret keeper. Well, I love it. What more could I want? You'd probably say what women my age want and need is a man, but you know what? You'd be wrong. I mean, look at me. What do I need a man for? Sex? I've got Mark for that. You look at me. You look how far I've come. I am totally happy. Yeah. So you say, Briony. So you say. I'm sorry. That's what I came here to tell you. Not this time. But you always escort me to social things and... Wait, I don't remotely fancy her. Oh, she doesn't. Really and truly, none of us fancy you, Tom. You're totally sexless. I need a man to take the bare look off me. I can't. Why not? 
Because I'm taking Zoe. Did you know about this? No, how would I know? Zoe's your mate, you must have known. How could you have let me make a fool out of myself like that? You can manage that perfectly well on your own. What's that supposed to mean? Well, let's face it, for the last five years... Jezebel, we don't talk about the past. Really? So what are you doing in your room every night talking to him? Bryony, would you like to be my date for the party? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> no thanks necessary, love. Oh, I can't go to the party on my own. Do you realise that is exactly how we ended up here? Jezebel can be such a cow sometimes. Beautiful people are like that. You know, highly strung. So why don't you get over your fear of rejection and ask your little 17-year-old fuck buddy to take you to the party? Right. I'll go and ask him right now. You just bloody watch! New life, new name, new identity. Same old Briny. When did you start interfering in me sex life? I, I didn't. I'm not. Well, shut up then. No, I, I won't. You shouldn't be sleeping with that boy. He's. He's what? Odd. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Mother, everybody here is odd, especially you. <sighs> Advice on men. Let's face it, you haven't got a leg to stand on. You're not going out like that, are you? It's not you that'll be embarrassed, it'll be me. Sorry. You be here. Stupid! I'm sorry. Maybe it's time you packed my lady chubs here up on Elf Farm. Men don't control me. I control men. And Marky's a pleasant distraction which makes me happy. I'm wearing this dress to the party. But the zip's jiggered. Would you fix it for me? What is wrong with me, eh? Why do you all want to make a fool of me? Especially you! It's not fair. You told me it should stop. I mean, I should be with someone my own age. My bloody daughter. Why not? What's wrong with her? You used me, didn't you? Hmm. No, that's not that's not right. How, how can you say that? That's, that's evil. Don't you bloody talk to me like that, you little bloody... I'm not evil. I'm sorry. I'm not evil. Look at me! If you don't support me, show me some loyalty, I swear. I've done nothing wrong, Brownie. I know I'm a difficult man to live with, but I love you. You were here all night with me in bed. Good girl. I knew he'd done something bad. But I gave him an alibi anyway. He was picking up hitchhikers. He killed them. And when I asked him why, he said, because he could. I needed him. Everyone hated me more than him. We should uh, comfort each other. Comfort. Mom, have you seen my boyfriend? He's shagging someone. Who is it? You won't say. And then there's you. Happy as a dog with two tails. Cos you're getting orgasmed. And the last time you were this happy, look what happened to me. It is time you took some responsibility for your actions. I have got plans for you, cryptic boy. Mark, what do you want? To, to take you to the party. I thought you'd be taking Jezebel. No, I sleep with Jezebel, but she's a girl and I need a woman. But, um, would, would you mind quietening down your appearance a bit, please? It's not just yourself, you'll embarrass, it's me. 
Lying's not good. Don't don't like lying. It's not good hey, to lie. Marky, it's not you good. You were the one lying to me. You promised you'd help me with mom. Don't need to lie anymore. Live with it. You look like shit. Well, what's all this about then? I'm going to party with Mark. A 17-year-old boy. Jezebel, I know you're jealous. I am not jealous, you stupid woman. I am upset. You lied to me. Like you lied to me about Pulson. You brought that bastard into my life. <sighs> You've got to choose, Mum. Doing? I'm getting ready to go to a party. Pathetic. But Briny. My name is Brenda. My name's Briny Thompson. A sad, desperate, hopeless frump. That's why you could never get a man. Briny, can't you see how Jezebel manipulates you and plays on your guilt? She's probably at the party laughing at you right now. That's what clowns are for. And you, Briny, are a fucking clown. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the coolest, the funkiest, the sexiest woman in Meadowlands, Miss Brenda Ogilvy! <laughs> Thanks, baby girl. He's gone. You made him go.